Welcome to the sequel of the ambassadorial series, Deans of US-Russia Diplomacy. No decade was more decisive for shaping post-Cold War US-Russia relations than the fateful 1990s. In this sequel to the ambassadorial series, we will learn from three deans of US-Russia diplomacy. They will share their personal experiences in navigating the challenges in the US-Russia relationship during the 1990s. And that is that when you're part of history and you're in a historic event, you don't know how it's going to come out. In the coup in 1991, as we were sitting at the embassy, we didn't know that it was going to fail until it did fail. They were also actors in that history. They met and negotiated with the highest Russian officials, traveled throughout the country, interacted with Russian citizens. Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan, dear guests. Gorbachev was an interesting man because in my interviews with him, and I had a number, uh, he constantly harked back to the view that communism was really a good thing for Russia. From the disintegration of the Soviet Union in 1991 to President Putin's ascent to power a decade later, they were eyewitnesses to Russia's tremendous transformation after the fall of the Iron Curtain. It happened fast, it happened unexpectedly, it happened for reasons many thought were impossible, but suddenly it was clear the Cold War was over and that the Soviet Union itself had not survived as a unitary state. Nobody thought, frankly, that the Soviet Union was coming to an end or breaking up or disappearing as a unifying element of all of Eurasia. And then, of course, there's also the famous telegram that you sent in July 1990 when you advised the White House uh, to plan for a contingency of a collapse of the Soviet Union 18 months before it happened. 